keep it loaded, most silent. Yeah, I get it loaded. We're going to get straight to it. This is something I get asked all the time. What time frame to scout, how to trade supply demand, and how to look at gaps and balance fair value gaps in the market, obviously while the market is live. So I'm going to be showing you guys back testing live results of using five minute time frame while we're scalping the market and just show you guys how easy it is if you make it simple. Like it's not complicated. You don't need to complicate trading at all. You can literally keep everything simple. You just got to make it simple. All right. So first thing I like to do is we want to analyze a higher scale. So like a four hour is usually where I'm at. Um, and as I'm looking at a four hour time frame, I'm asking myself just this simple question. Are we going down or going up? Now, I noticed that market is heading down. So basically, we know that we should be looking for selling opportunities and we should only be looking for supply levels which is anything above a 50% Fibonacci point if you are finding that most impulsive range. So what I mean by that is if we look in a four hour and we see everything we need to see, one thing I like to do is simply put a line here just to basically say that it broke structure there. And I also like to put a line here just to kind of con like confirm to me what's my higher time frame high. So after I've done that, basically you can head straight to a 15 minute, even a five minute, but I'm going to jump straight to the five minute and all I'm looking for is areas where market needs to be tapped like a fair value gap or supply level. So if we look in this area right here, all of this right here is all my supply. Notice how we tapped in that supply level, right? When we tap in that supply level, I simply look at my most recent low, which seems that is my most recent low. And all we need to simply do is wait on structure to break through. Now notice right immediately structure broke through and then it tapped back up right here is where I start to look for entry. So after the, hopefully this next candle is where I will look for my entry. Notice market is going up. So I'm not looking for anything that's telling me the buyers are in. I'm looking for something telling me the sellers are in. I will personally like to see a candle close over this candle, which, you know, end up being like an engulfing candle. But uh, let's see. So right away, this is the move right here. So what we'll do is we'll take a short position, short it. You can put your stop loss resting above here. I like to look for a one on one trade, at least for my TP one to be resting there. And then also TP two here. So what we're going to do is we're going to take these trades, guys, and I'm going to show you what you know, what can happen if market decides to go in our favor. If not, that is, it is what it is. We're going to continue to see how many wins we get in this video. So notice right away, market reacted the other way. Why is that? Just because market seems like it wanted to pull further back into a level of imbalance or another supply level. Now, if this happens, guys, don't think market is going to shift right away because that's not true. What really is happening is that market is trying to make a bigger play of action from this high to this low. This is where I talk about impulsive wave. That's your range. So if I was to draw my 50, moving or my um, Fibonacci from this high to this low, anything above it, I'm still looking for target. So we peaked over this one, which is perfectly fine. My next point of interest is here. This is a supply level that I'm looking for market to also tap into, right? So remember on a four hour, let me actually bring this up on a four hour. This is our four hour high. If we were to break out of this four hour high, then I will actually be looking for more possibly reversals, but doesn't mean the market is still going to go up. So let's go ahead and play it through. We notice market tap. We still notice market is going up. Now that it done this tap, what we're looking for now is to, to break this low. And now as you see, market is still going up. So one thing we got to understand when we are trying to trade and the reason why I'm not so interested in trading upwards right now is because I'm trying to teach you guys and uh, I hope you understand that trading with the trend is a good thing. But I know a lot of people will say, well, it's going up now and we should be looking for buying opportunities. That's still not the case, because if we go on a one hour time frame, you look to see the most recent range off a of one hour time frame. Now you have something different from here to here. So what we're going to do is do the exact same thing. We're going to map it out from this high to this low. 
we look for anything above it i can already tell you right now we do have other levels that we want to focus on which would be these levels right here all we simply going to do is jump right back on the five minute we have this trend line right here basically saying i just needed to break through notice how market immediately broke through now that market broke through what I want to see is market to pull back. And then I want it to give me some signal that the sellers are in. It can be a pin bar or wick rejections at the top and golf and candles. I just need to, it just needs to tell me that the sellers are in right there. So what I am going to do is take a short position, stop loss. I like to put it resting here. TP one will actually be this low right here. So we're going to go ahead and mark that. And then from here, we can look to ride this to our next bigger low, which is this move here. And then now guys, you can just take this trade on and on. So let's go ahead and play this one through. So as you see, we immediately hit TP1. I'm looking forward to see if we can reach a TP2. Now guys, as the market is still going down, we still have opportunities because one thing we got to understand is that when market grabs liquidity going down first, just expect it to still be a down move and that's what i'm really expecting it to be because right here this is liquidity being grabbed usually people buy right here but that's really the reason why the market is going to go the other way because everybody wants to buy it but for me personally i'm just gonna boom look for another supply level or imbalance which is right there that gap from this candle to there that's my imbalance notice market tapped in again we could have gotten any of these candles. So if we were to get in this trade, let's go ahead and just uh, put a short position. Stop loss would have been resting by these highs. TP1 would have been literally right there with this low. And then I would be also riding this trade to the next TP levels, which is here and here. And then immediately market had smashed all of our, well, we, we basically smashed all of our TPs. So now what we want to do is do the exact same thing right if you looking at the market again you still want to ask yourself going back on a higher scale for our time frame what are we doing so right now we basically have one losing and two wins so now let's go ahead and continue to see what else we can get all right so i'm not looking i'm about to do another trade i'm um, just doing a back test and let's go i think we're good yeah yeah we good i think we good uh yeah we're good all right well let's delete all that all right so same exact thing here one thing i will tell you right now that i do see is exactly what i mentioned just a couple seconds ago how we just grab liquidity right here market is now rushing down so when i see that and i see it now pulling back up and the imbalance area which is actually this whole entire thing from this candle from here to there that's our imbalance I am looking on market to tap in, which is clearly dead right there. I mean, clear as day. So now all I want to see is I'm on a four hour, by the way, guys. I noticed that we have a trend line going instead of just a straight line. Usually I draw trend lines when I see an actual trend. But if I was to pull out my accumulation distribution, which is a volume indicator, I'm pretty sure there might be divergence here. So if we pull this out, we kind of don't see it as much divergence going on here. But if you guys pay attention to possibly this one right here where you see this top and it's going down, but however, this part is going up or even right here, that's divergence and that's telling you the market could be shifting. I don't just trade off that. I do look for this breakout right here. So now I'm gonna jump straight to the five minute. Now we on the five minute, you see it's very choppy. When something's like this choppy, I really completely ignore it because I don't see any stability in the market at all. So we're just gonna wait to see what we can get either breaking towards the uh, downside or the upside. Okay, so I notice we're going up, up, up. I notice we broke this internal low or internal high. All right, so now that we've done this complete move, what we can simply do is you can either enter inside of this consolidation, but I'm going to actually wait for the bigger picture to play out because I don't want to just get caught up in a mess. So notice right here, we finally got our new low. We broke through. We created a new low, which is what we call a, a, like a, you can call this a liquidity grab as well. So if I want to get in this trade now, what I can do is look for 
right there in order block order block as well so these two levels i'm looking for market to come to because i seen market rally back up well i see market went down and then i'm looking for it to rally back up so we're just going to wait to see if market could come in these areas if not then we don't take a trade and as you guys see market is still going down so we just don't have a trade for it right now we just leave the market alone that's one thing we have to do we have to understand and leave the market alone you know if there's no trade then there's no trade we're not forcing anything so same thing here grab liquidity it's going down looking for market to possibly peak out of this to come in some of these order block levels supply levels up here you know the same levels i had before right there market tapped in there perfectly so now what i want to do is it, this is an opportunity for you guys to even enter on a smaller scale if you want to but we're going to stick on a five minute and then right there we got an engulfing candle that could be your entry what we're going to do is take a short position for a stop loss resting above these highs tp1 you can do a simple one-on-one -on -one trade right there and if you want to do a let's say tp1 here you can also take or tp2 here you can also take it here and then we can just keep riding this trade as far as we can but we're going to just make this simple and go straight from there so this was pretty tight as you see we never hit our stop loss right and the reason why we never hit is well because i put my stop loss a couple pips out from this order block area but we tapped my tp1 uh, which was the one-on-one -on -one trade and we tapped tp2 so right now i think we have one two this is our third one in trade and uh, we got one l so let's go ahead and look at another ch chart or look at another pair and see how this works with something else all right so i decided to go with something a little choppy but this will work in any type of pair indices whatever you trade so we're gonna do the same thing i'm not looking let me go ahead and get my replay and then i'm just gonna uh ah did i get somewhere did you get it? all right i think we're good so here we got something very choppy uh however i can tell you right now we are in a minor downtrend and even a bigger picture downtrend so if we were to break out of this low i will be looking for some sales but right now let's see what happens i don't trade off what i think i trade off what i see so let's just see what we can get now before i actually get into that i want to show you guys some levels i am looking for market to tap into which we have this entire order block we also have this order block as well. So I kind of want to see if market comes up to these levels. So once again, I see market is very choppy. Stuff like this, I just completely ignore it and continue on with my day. All right, so we finally tapped in there. Now that we tapped in there, I just want to see a simple, right, breakout. Or if you guys are interested, you can also enter with an engulfing candle. But we are looking for this breakout here, which is that breakout there. Once we break through, we will then look for our opportunity for market to now pull back right in the little order block right there. And then as you see, we got a, whoa, a big engulfing candle. So let's see what happens now that it just did that i need to now see more aggressive moves with an engulfing candle this ain't it well i talked about this before where i said i don't like equal wicks or equal yeah i don't like equal wicks at the top or bottom i like to see a emerging engulfing candle i see we don't have that we did get a nice wick rejection up top but market is still trying to peak it's really consolidating heavily and faithfully right now so i see market isn't doing anything major now market broke out of this high this trade becomes invalid so this tells me that market could still be heading up to some other emerging highs or order blocks which could be up here so we're just going to wait and as you guys see market is in consolidation again so now that we see market is in consolidation i look for my low again i see that we did create a new high which is here however i also see that we did break out of these lows all of these lows right here which basically tells me that it grabbed liquidity which means it could be going down so i'm looking for the break of structure again which it just did looking for market to pull back and it looks like not not an engulfing we got an engulfing candle there so we can go ahead and take our short position 
and we're gonna do a simple one-on-one -on -one trade from there to there and also we can do another trade from here and we can take another trade further down there so let's go ahead and do that one-on-one -on -one trade first and see what happens so as you see we immediately got stopped out now like i said this doesn't have to be a perfect setup all the time for you guys one thing you want to make sure you master is understanding the bias now like i said even though we did hit our stop loss this doesn't mean that this trade is going to go up or go the other way right one other thing you could have obviously done was move your stop loss but if we move our stop loss obviously we have a higher risk so you definitely want to pay attention to that but you want to keep cautious of understanding what's really going on in the bigger picture because when you are in a bigger consolidation like this anything is possible right anything is possible so you really want to make sure you try to get in a trade while you're not in consolidation unless you're on a smaller smaller scale of that consolidation where you can take those trades but other than that i appreciate the love support guys make sure you subscribe and peace see you in my next video solo